Am I in the frame? If you pull me, let you. Am I in it? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, this is Hunter Hollis here with Hollis Farms, and we're at GTR. We got all checked in. Got all our bags gone through. Co. Carly's first trip with us. Renata. He dog. <laughs> we got about a few minutes till they open up security, and then we gotta go through there, and we're headed to Atlanta. All right, y'all, that was my least one. She told y'all where you're headed. We made it through security at GTR. I think we heard some BS rules on traveling now, but we had to unpack some stuff, pay some overweight baggage stuff. I think I lost a battery I was taking to, for Graham, for a guy to use in a feeder, so. But we made it. Uh, we will be traveling from here. Next stop's Atlanta, so we'll catch up with y'all there. to Atlanta. Got us something to eat, been a last bite of American food for a little while. We got boarded. We are headed to next stop is Amsterdam. It's about a eight and a half hour flight. It's uh what time is it? 5.45 Atlanta time. Eight hour flight. So overnight flight. We'll try to watch a movie, eat dinner, try to get some sleep back in a little while we'll be in the Netherlands when we see y'all again. Wave to the camera. y'all eight hour flight actually seven hours 50 minutes made a little early we are in amsterdam it's about 8 30 in the morning here 1 30 in the morning at home pretty smooth flight we got about a two hour layover here in amsterdam then we will then we've got a 10 hour and 45 minute flight to Johannesburg, South Africa. So we leave here at about, I think 10.30 a.m. and get there about 9.15 tonight in Johannesburg. Same, same time zone we're in now, but due south 10 and a half hours from here. I hate Delta did away with that flight from Atlanta. We used to go Johannesburg, I mean Atlanta direct to Johannesburg. 16 hours but you didn't have once you got there you were there you didn't have to stop lay over transfer get on another plane so i think delta's gonna start that flight back up sooner or later but not this trip so and we'll have to repeat this route on the way home so we're gonna grab us a little something to drink maybe a little snack once we get back on this plane we'll be flying all day and into the night so next stop Johannesburg, South Africa. What we'll do there tonight is walk over to the city hotel, which adjoins the airport there. We'll stay there tonight, and then tomorrow morning, hop on a little domestic flight to another little airport. We'll take y'all there with us too. Then we'll finally meet our outfitter friends there, and they'll drive us to camp. So we'll try to find some caffeine here in a minute, maybe something to nibble on. Oh, hang on, we'll be, uh, we'll be in South Africa when we come back. All right, we cleared the gate, COVID test proof again. 
We gotta be in the, we gotta be in the safest place in the world in the airport. Yes, you still get to wear masks. But everybody's been tested. So. We're fixing to board a ten and a half hour flight to Johannesburg. Watch a couple of movies, eat lunch. Get to Joburg late tonight, grab a hotel room. Another quick flight in the morning, and then we're going hunting. All right, y'all, long flight over, 10 and a half hours. We made it to Johannesburg, South Africa. It's about 9.30 p.m., seven hours ahead of Mississippi time. Waiting on our bags. Jake and I are waiting on the gun cases to come in. I know I started seeing some of our other luggage coming off the carousel, so. That flight, that plane we were on, seats about 425 people, and I'm gonna say there probably wasn't 100, maybe 125 on it. We were able to sit anywhere we want, and lay, at, lay in the seats. We were able to lay across the middle rows and get some sleep, so. A lot of flying, but probably the most rested I've been after that trip, because we could actually get some real sleep laying down, so. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna try to gather up luggage here. We gotta walk over to a hotel. Go to the hotel, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, real quick. We went scrambling through security this morning. Guns checked in, a bunch of mess. Waiting for a bunch of South Africans to do math. It was tough. We are going straight on the plane, so we will hour and a half or so flight to Uppington and then we'll be getting pick us up there we'll head to camp be there shortly all right finally through last security in Uppington met up with Amanda and her other PAs and we're ready to go we're in Africa now About a two hour drive, we'll get to camp, we'll show you around a little bit. Whew, all right, y'all, we made it to camp. We were in Taru Lodge, Thuru, Thuru, Thuru Lodge in the Northern Cape of South Africa. I will get to show y'all around a little more outside. We're fixing to go eat lunch. There's a little courtyard area there. Beautiful place. Take in, this is our room right here. Beautiful lodge, nice sitting area here. This ain't roughing it here. We're gonna enjoy this. I think we're gonna be here, be in this camp for about five days. We're gonna be hunting. Hey girl, look here. Hey, great grizzly. Oh. Uh, We'll be here in this camp about five days. We'll be hunting, primarily concentrating on some of the small cats I've got permits for here. Genet, civet, caracal. I'm not sure what other, maybe uh, have been running feeders trying to bait a bush pig. So that's gonna be high on the list. Uh, a couple other things that are kind of unique to this country, this part of the country. We'll be concentrating on those before we move back east to a couple other camps. We'll be moving to another camp closer to Kimberly, Northern Cape. It's going to be a little bit different uh, terrain, different game. This this here is kind of a desert, Kalahari desert type stuff. Open, you'll see more and more. It's going to be some, maybe some long shots, maybe not. But uh, we'll be here five days and start hunting. I don't know, we'll go eat lunch here in a minute. Probably go out and shoot the rifles. So. But anyway, I'm not sure exactly what the agenda is, agenda is for this afternoon. We're going to wrap this up. We appreciate y'all traveling with us. It's been a long two or three days, but this is just all worth it when you get to see a property like this. So we'll start hunting. We'll try to carry the video camera. Got the big camera. I brought the tripod too. When we split up hunt a little bit, it'll be some days I can video while Jake and Presley are hunting and vice versa. So we can maybe get some really good footage for y'all. So we appreciate you watching and stay tuned. We're going to have a lot of fun on this trip.